Hi, I'm Ken from Loy. Did you know that we still test flame safeguard controls, both Honeywell and FireEye, in our facilities, in all of our facilities? Watch. Closing T to T. This is an old classic, so you gotta show these things. Oh yeah, you hear that? Mmm, that's a good sound, ain't it? That is one sexy sound to hear those relays pulling in like that. Uh-oh, guess what? Oh, this one's... Oh, looky here. <laughs> there we go. Good to go. Shutting her down. And last but not least, in the Honeywell world, you must be highly skilled in the ancient Honeywell arts of cardboard origami. So bear with me as I run out the 82 screws that are present in the Honeywell RA890. And I think the reason that Honeywell got rid of the RA890 and the 4795s was because of carpal tunnel lawsuits from people having to run all these screws out of these sub bases. So as you can see, I'm just a ratchet hand, really. But uh, most people lack the, uh, the, the palmular dexterity to run these screws out the way that I am right now. Bear with me. <laughs> As I said that, I can't get that one to start. Last but not least. There we go. Now, one of them hasn't let go yet. Come on. Oh, this is just, this is making for, this is cinematic right here. Ah, there we go. Okay. One last screw. And now for the ancient Honeywell art. Placing. Go. And go. Complete.